one of the critical aspects of, of payments is the identity of the person who is paying. And biometrics is part of that story. Well, Fingerpay is a way of linking your unique identity to a card on file. So it just means that you just need your finger to pay for things. It works by shining near infrared light through your finger, lights your finger veins up like a Christmas tree. And that pattern that, it, that we can see is completely unique to you. We also take systolic information so that it proves there's a live, warm, breathing human being attached to that finger. And we store that crypto key on file so that when you next use the system, we can identify you how uh, people authenticate themselves for payments is a very big area of interest that, at Visa Europe CoLab. And the FingerPay proposition was uh, particularly interesting because it answers the question about what happens beyond card, beyond phone. Today we are doing a pilot launch of FingerPay uh, within the Walbrook Cantina, which is part of the WorldPay offices. We recruited people by first sending out an email across the, the Walbrook um, population, asked them then to create a FingerPay account online, then adding a card to the account. Once they had done that, then they came to one of the finger booth terminals, which are here in the cantina, and they just logged in, scanned their finger vein, and then they were ready to go. What's been fantastic is that people are really curious about how it works and how we're going to deploy it and what it means for payments. It's about how do people feel in making a payment using a finger rather than by using their car or you know just pulling out some cash. I expected a scan of the fingerprint. Um, I didn't expect it to be finger vein technology. That was a surprise, a nice surprise actually. It took absolutely no time at all. I'm very, very pleased to, to be able to just stick my finger in the little reader and know that my payment's gone through. I think this is the future. We're stripping away of what it takes to buy something. It used to be a wallet full of cash, big wallet, and then it was a card, and then you don't even need to use your pen, and now you can use your phone. And it's just being stripped and stripped away gradually, and this is, I guess, is the next step. I'm not sure where you could take it from here. People have really embraced what is a, a brand new way to pay. Um, you know, it hasn't been done anywhere else before, so really pleased with how everything's gone.